This is the Magflot by Chargen Pro, and it could be the last iPad stand you'll ever want for working from home. I mean, look at it. It's the iPad Pro Display XDR. Let's talk about it. Uh, hi everyone, it's Simon. Welcome or welcome back to Better Creating. I'm collecting ideas, tools, and tech on this channel to simplify productivity and creative life so that you don't have to. And this one's an absolute beauty. I've been talking to Charge M Pro about this product for months now, eagerly waiting for them to send me the finalized design so that I can talk to you guys about it on the channel. Well, it's finally here and it really does deserve a closer look. Back in 2019, Charlie, who must be the char in Charge M Pro, designed the Magflock because he wanted a modern premium stand that would utilize the built-in magnets inside an iPad. And like me, he couldn't find one that truly lined up with the pro build quality of Apple's industrial design. He's made five prototypes over two years, revised metal thickness, vertical height, magnetic strength, adjustability. This is the kind of obsessive attention to design detail that us iPad users really like, right? So I've got the space gray 12.9 inch version, but it's also available in silver and for the smaller iPad size, of course. So most iPad Airs or iPad Pro models should work with it. It comes packaged in three pieces to keep the packaging small but it's pretty easy to put together. And the first thing you notice is the weight. It is super high quality aluminium metal and makes for a really sturdy, safe base. Honestly, this is the closest I've seen a third party Apple product get to looking like it's from Apple directly. The design is great in its match to the new iMac or the Apple cinema display bases. So it really will complement your setup if you're into the new Mac design. The most obvious use for this stand has to be though, a super clean standalone iPad desk setup. Combining it with my external keyboard, this Keychron K3, a mouse and a desk mat, and this baby is photo shoot ready. It just looks like a kind of baby Pro XDR setup. I absolutely love it. Plus, I really appreciate the judgment they've made on vertical height. It feels about right and they've clearly raised it from that original prototype that they brought out a year or so ago. This is obviously not, though, a portable stand. It's very much designed for home use. And if I'm honest, that's why it's great. They're not trying to do everything at once. I love using it, for example, just on my worktop to watch Formula One while I'm cooking. It's like a little TV, it's brilliant. Now, alternatively, it works brilliantly as a secondary monitor for a desktop setup. With the release of Apple's universal control, working across my docked MacBook Pro and this iPad is a really fantastic experience. The stand really helps set it off. This stand truly shows the power of universal control for a two device desk setup, sliding the mouse across the device from one to the other using the same wireless keyboard just makes for a really pleasurable workflow. Now the magnetic solution to mounting the iPad is actually really good. You can easily mount and unmount the iPad and the felt cover is super soft, so no danger there of damaging the device. There are still very few iPad stands out there, I think, that use this magnetic approach. Who knows why? It's clearly the best option, uh, but it works very similarly to something like uh, the Magic Keyboard that you would get with an iPad. It won't fall off easily, but it does allow you to easily take the iPad and use it in your hand when you're ready. My favorite feature has to be the rotation options from this multi-hinged slate holder. So many iPad stands don't support vertical viewing as easily and as well as this one. You can just rotate it and it locks into place at 90 degrees. So it's much easier to take advantage of that vertical format. I'm finding this super helpful for referencing reading or notes when I'm working on videos and the wider range of movements means that it's easy to set up in different setups. You can always get it at the right angle. And it would also be really great if you just wanna flip it over 180 degrees to share some content with someone opposite you. Nice. A really cool touch to this stand is that they've thought about the cabling. Finally, this super clean braided cable gives fast charging with a wraparound design that then like hides the cable away behind the iPad and then through the little cable management notch in the stand so you aren't dealing with ugly cabling coming out the side. It's surprisingly pleasing and keeps my setup on my desk looking super clean. So overall, I really rate this stand, but there is one downside really to consider. It's expensive. Not bad value, but expensive. But let's be honest, this is a premium product. And if you're an Apple user, 
we are uncomfortably used to the expensive Apple ecosystem. If you're a serious iPad user and want premium Apple build quality in a stand, I personally think this is the best you can possibly find on the market today as it stands. I've linked it in the description. I will continue to use it. But if you want something a little cheaper that has worked for me, there's a couple of other links down there too. For more inspiration on how to make the most of your iPad and your wider Mac setup, you should watch this video next and this one for my favorite apps that really make the iPad worth owning. It would be amazing if you left a comment. Wicked if you subscribed if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next one.